Hi friends, welcome to new business ideas. Today we look in this video how to start a successful sawmill business from a small scale. A sawmill is a business that engages in the cutting, processing and distribution of timber or lumber. Its main purpose is to transform logs into a range of wood products including boards, planks, beams and other dimensional lumber. These products find applications in construction, furniture, manufacturing and various other industries. And starting a sawmill business is a profitable venture for those who specialize in the production and sale of timber products. Also can provide essential materials for various industries and contribute to the country's economic growth. So if you are intrigued by the idea of venturing into the sawmill business with the right strategy and meticulous planning, you can turn this endeavor into a highly profitable venture. In this video, we will walk you through the essential steps to kickstart your sawmill business successfully. Market scope for sawmill business. The construction and furniture industries are the primary consumers of sawn timber. Global construction and furniture industries are experiencing significant growth, driving up the demand for processed wood products. And the global sawmill market size was valued at 718 million US dollars in 2022 and will reach 855 million in 2028 with a CAGR of 2.95% during 2022 to 2028 with rapid urbanization and an expanding middle class the demand for quality wood products is on the rise as a result the sawmill industry presents a lucrative opportunity additionally the government's push for affordable housing and infrastructure development projects further fuels the demand for timber Therefore the market presents significant opportunities for a well structured sawmill business. Investment for sawmill business. Starting a sawmill business requires a substantial initial investment that encompasses various aspects. A basic setup with essential machinery like a saw, wood processing, tools and safety equipment can cost between 10 to 20 lakhs INR. However, if you aim for a medium sized operation with additional features, the investment could range from 30 to 50 lakhs. or more and while larger operations might require significantly more capital investment additionally there are costs associated with procuring a suitable plot of land obtaining necessary permits and licenses and setting up infrastructure like a processing unit and storage facilities licenses and permits for sawmill business to operate a sawmill business legally in india you must obtain the necessary licenses and permits Firstly you will need to obtain a business registration from the local municipal authority depending on the location of your sawmill. Next acquire a trade license from the respective municipal corporation. Environmental clearances from the state pollution control board are crucial as sawmills have potential environmental impacts. Additionally depending on the scale of operation you may also need to register for GST. Finally it's essential to obtain fire and safety clearances from the local fire department. So engaging with legal advisors or consultants with expertise in industrial licensing can be invaluable in navigating the complex regulatory landscape. Location and space for sawmill business. Choosing the right location for your sawmill is a critical decision. Opt for an area with ample space to accommodate the machinery and raw materials. Starting a small scale sawmill business typically requires a space of around half to 1 acre. For a medium scale sawmill operation a space of around 2 to 5 acres would be necessary on a larger scale a sawmill business might require even more this includes space for log storage a cutting area equipment installation office space employee amenities and a processing zone additionally choosing proximity to timber rich regions can significantly reduce transportation costs and ensure a steady supply of raw materials raw materials for sawmill business The primary raw material for your sawmill business is timber logs. These logs can be sourced from various places including government owned timber depots, private forest owners or through timber auctions. It's imperative to establish legal and sustainable sources of timber to ensure compliance with environmental regulations. Additionally, you might also need to invest in treatment chemicals to ensure the longevity and quality of your timber products. So maintaining a consistent supply chain will safeguard against production delays. and ensure uninterrupted operations machines for sawmill business to kick start a sawmill business several key machines are essential firstly a reliable bandsaw or circular saw is crucial 
for cutting logs into manageable sizes. Additionally, a debarker is needed to remove the bark. A wood chipper or planner helps in refining the lumber surface, ensuring a uniform finish. A kiln or drying chamber is essential for seasoning the wood, reducing moisture content and preventing warping. Moreover, a generator or power source is indispensable to supply consistent electricity for the machinery. And these machines can be procured from a range of sources, including specialized machinery suppliers, woodworking equipment manufacturers, and online marketplaces. Running process The running process of a sawmill involves several steps. Step 1. Log inspection This initial phase entails a meticulous examination of incoming logs to ascertain their quality and appropriateness for processing. Step 2. Log Preparation Following inspection, the logs undergo preparatory measures which involve the removal of bark and rectification of any irregularities or imperfections. Step 3. Sawing The prepared logs are then fed into cutting machinery, where they are precisely sliced into boards or planks for the specified dimensions. Step 4. Drying Subsequent to the sawing process, the freshly cut timber is placed within specialized drying kilns. This controlled environment facilitates the reduction of moisture content. Step 5. Grading and Sorting The grading and sorting process involves categorizing the dried timber based on its quality and size, ensuring that each piece meets the required standards. Step 6. Packaging and Storage In the final stage of production, the graded and sorted timber is carefully packaged, readying it for transport and eventual use. Additionally, this phase also plays a crucial role in ensuring an efficient inventory management system. Marketing Tips for Sawmill Business Effective marketing is crucial to the success of your sawmill business. First, networking with local construction companies, furniture makers, carpentry workshops and interior designers can also be incredibly fruitful. Also, creating a professional website and showcasing the range of services, types of wood available and contact information is essential. And use social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook to showcase your products. Lastly, forming partnerships with lumber yards and specialty wood retailers can ensure a steady supply chain and increase the visibility of your offerings in the industry. Also, keeping an eye on market trends and staying eco-conscious can set the sawmill apart in a competitive market. Profitability from business The profitability of your sawmill business depends on various factors including the scale of operation, production efficiency and market demand. On average, a well-managed sawmill business in India could generate a decent profit margin, often ranging from 10 to 30% of the total revenue. However, it's important to note that this is a general estimate and actual figures may fluctuate. Additionally, economic conditions, government policies and environmental regulations can also impact the profitability of sawmill businesses. For the most accurate and up-to-date information, we recommend consulting industry reports or professionals in the field. If you want to know more information about this business, please check our website and the link in the video description. We hope in this video, it helped you to initiate your own business. If you like the video, please give it a like and comment. Thank you for watching friends. For more business ideas, subscribe to New Business Ideas.